On the FE exam, you might get a triangle and you have to find the centroid just like we did in this problem, or you might be giving a triangle load on a beam and you have to find the reactions. Either way, you have to make sure that you know how to find the centroid of all the different types of triangles. And that's what we're gonna go over today. Oh yeah, everybody now. Hey guys, my name is Kenza and I've helped hundreds of students pass the FE exam faster. Okay, so let's take a look at this first triangle here. So if we are giving this triangle and we're trying to find the centroid about the y-axis, which is the distance from here to the centroid, that distance is going to be h over 3. Now, if we're trying to find the centroid about the x-axis, we're going to use a plus b over 3, where a is the distance from here to here, and then b is this whole distance here. Now, what if we are giving this triangle, but it is flipped? This is where I see a lot of students make the mistake. So just be careful. If the triangle that you have is flipped, if and you're trying to find the centroid about the y-axis, which is the distance from here to where the centroid is, that distance is going to be 2h over 3 and not h over 3. Okay, now the centroid about the x-axis for this triangle is going to be the same as this triangle. Before we continue, make sure to grab the cheat sheets for statics here. It covers all the concepts that you need to know for statics. Now, what if we are giving a triangle load and we're trying to find the reactions? We would have to find the centroid of these forces, right? So then the centroid of this force here is going to be 2h over 3, and the moment arm of this force is going to be this whole distance from here all the way to here, and then we're going to add plus the centroid of this triangle, which is h over 3. Now, these distances will be if we're taking the moment at the pin and we're trying to find the reaction at the roller. Now, if it's the other way, we're trying to find the reaction at the pin and we take the moment at the roller, then the centroids are going to change. So then it, for this force, it's going to be 2h over 3. And then for this force, it's going to be the distance from here all the way to here plus the centroid of this triangle, which is going to be h over 3. Now, if you guys want to see a problem where we find the reaction of a triangle load, go ahead and comment below triangle load and I'll make a video on that next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to come back here every week for free FE problems, study tips and motivation to pass your FE exam faster. Now, before you go, make sure to check out this video here where I go over all the unit conversions that you need to know for statics. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great productive week and I will see you on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.